Morning, afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. And welcome to catch up of that demolition site. I'm going to go the opposite way this time. Instead of going down that way, I'm going to go down the other way. All the old marble areas all behind me. In a second, we'll have another sneak peek through and see what's going on. Which, as you can see, we've got a cherry picker man lifting there. With the uh, big extended boom arm over there. A lot more of it's gone on. There's more mark, well, not mark, there's more like grilling and other stuff around it, around that area with the portal. Over there, I can see one of the um, big excavators for the. Uh, areas queuing on something with a pile of rebar and everything going off over there what I will do put you around back onto me a second while we walk back down and have a look at the other areas and whilst I have been uh, off camera or in the past week anyway there has uh, been development so now we now have no cinema. Yeah, it wasn't exactly brilliant. It was a cinema. It was usable, but now proves the point. Has the world changed? Sorry, there is a street singer. So um, there is that, but still. But has that proved a point though that the world has changed a lot since uh, all of the Rona and everything and um, all of the other bits and pieces that we don't really need cinemas all that much because the costs are quite expensive the concessions are flipping expensive the awkwardness of getting there some of them quite a lot of the uh, companies are uh, in the mud i think like view might be the only one that's kind of like you know not in the mud but even then they could be uh, out as well so We've got Netflix and all of that lot and a lot of the movies come out pretty much day and date that they go uh, releasing to the uh, movie theatre they get released at home too so there is always that so do we really need one? I don't know but all this has now got covered in scarf because this was the other entrance that's now going to be coming down soon and last week I missed getting the scarf up but hey ho Never mind. That's just all part of the fun. Anyway, pause. And now we're over on mains. Oh, yeah, that. But yeah, this is where, as I was leading in, this is where apparently somewhere around here is where the cinema area and bowling alley and some of the other stuff is supposed to go. Uh, but. Who knows? Who knows with this? Because I don't. I don't know. But as we can see, you can see all the way through. All the way through to what would have been like the uh, lobby or foyer area over there. You can see the little uh, thing on the wall over there at the side. That's where we can see through. And uh, yeah, this is definitely uh, a lot of this is going bye bye. And you can see quite a lot of the uh, interior structure type with all of that like cinder block, freeze blocky, heavy duty um, block thing with all the concrete and everything. Just looking at this, there is a heck of a lot of rebar and everything else in here, which is amazing for this. But it was built at the time where it was uh, definitely designed to take a lot of weight. But whether it was designed to take the weight of the SUVs that we've got now, no one really knows because there's been quite a few um, building collapses going on through. Uh, 
New York and parts of America. Then again, they were built a lot time, long time before this, but still was our 70s and 80s structures designed really to take the SUVs. But as you can see, there is a lot of work going on. And you can see the canopy over there, which I'm just going to give you a zoom back in on that. See that canopy over there. Everything else, and all of that lot over there. Anyway, if you're liking it so far, I'm going to do this in a bit bridge. If you're liking all of the footage and the coverage and uh, my work that I'm doing so far with this one, then uh, give it a big uh, thumbity dummity up. Just make it a smash that subscribe button and share my videos around like you're passing the duchy oh yeah and also if you wouldn't mind could uh, some of you if you uh, are interested in anything uh, a bit more rainbow flavored you can always uh, find my uh, second channel which is linked down below in the uh, description box you can find out what goes on with the transition and all the little bits and pieces and some other things that would be over on the channel known as the Vixen Warrior that is my second channel that is my dedicated rainbow flavoured channel so all of the stuff would be over there and um, and as always right now it is pause see if you can see it up there Somewhere in amongst that lot is a digger, a smaller digger, hunting some stuff out. You can see a little bit of stuff through the uh, fires as well. Oops. What do you think? Do we need? Well, I would say that. To have a cinema would be nice again, but nothing like large scale, maybe a smaller one. At least then you got something there, but with the way that the uh, world is right now and the way everything has changed, I don't know. Because we had a cinema, at least we had one. Now we have none, and the closest to us is what? Chorley? Porridge? What? If you want to have more of a day out, then. Uh, you go down Mankel, you go Liverpool, but still, don't know. I do like going to the cinema, watching some of the major stuff. It's like a lot of the times I have watched like Guardians and a lot of the Marvel stuff. But obviously, I is nerd, yeah? That's just me, I am a nerd, but I will always like that. But, hey, what's your opinions? Stick them down below in the comment box because uh, it's always appreciated. I'm going to give you a quick spin round and give you a quick view of what I can see. Cheers. Water cannon. Blowing, so obviously taking some stuff down. And as I could see earlier, they were definitely taking some bits down, but no progress has been made down here yet but more of the uh, tiles have come off over there and everything else so it's all coming away I wonder how much of that curtain wall has gone as well because uh, that wall was uh, one of the last things left sorry about the wind noise you're going to have to put up with that because it is a bit of a windy corridor down here now Pigeons. But yeah, this is definitely um, coming down pretty quickly in places, even though there is an alarming amount of rebar in it, which means it's definitely uh, engineered to stand, even if some of the roofs were a bit leaky. A bit like my old flat. <laughs> That's going back a few years. But as we've got empty units and stuff around here, you know, we are going to need something going on with these as well. 
since they're going to be doing it, doing all this we do need more stuff going on because we can't just have a market some apartment blocks the cinema a bowling alley a hotel that may never even get utilized and virtually zero car park even if they drop what one or two of the ideas like ignore one of the um, apartment blocks ignore this town center hotel and build a mini car park there might have to be somewhere else in town to go because as my mom's having problems and she wants to come into town she always used to park up there and this is not exactly the easiest of places to be and that big beast sits silent right now but it ain't going to be long until it starts chomping away again what way closed again or what way open over there well this way is still closed so I can't get a view through here it's a shame we've got no portals open that I could see Down. Most of the curtain walls down there. There's only this clock side left. But yes, it was definitely confirmed. Danger zone toilet went weeks ago. I missed it. But this is going to be one of those areas and one of those things. It's just going to be going on for a while. And I'm sure these guys, someone to do with the, uh, you know, the contractors watches all of this. That goes up. I'm still going to say it. It would be nice if we did have a couple of portals cut into some of these. Just a little bit so that we could have a sneaky peek. Even if you just cut some roundies and bodged on some perspex I might actually be able to see a little bit you know because having a flat side like this we've got outline pylon we haven't got anything to view can't really view it on street level you've got to go up you've got to go skyward and sadly I doesn't have drone the drone I've got Urubish. It flies on a kilt. I don't know why. It just goes sideways all the time, so gave up trying to work that one out. But Moscow. <laughs> hey Moscow. Got a truck in there. Truck your truck. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying it like that, but hey, that is the truth. Got a better scoop view from there. Scoop view. Okay. So it's got more air again. We've got more bits and pieces through. Let's give you a view down there. This site is getting quite large now and all of these gaps and holes is coming on and all of this is where the new market is going to be I'm going to have to keep saying it because uh, sometimes I know that there might be some people that might be watching some of this for the first time this area up here is where all of the new market is going to be over the other side where it was down the other side that is where apparently off the top of my memory anyway that is where the uh, cinema bowling alley area is going to be where the market is that is going to be where the apartments and where the hotel area is going to be as I end this off because I am probably going to grab myself a pie and go home let's get it up a bit blustery and I don't trust that sky but 
I will bid thee adieu and put your comments, put your ideas, anything doing below. If you have any views and anything else, anything that you want to say, stick it down below. Because I will bid thee adieu and I will see you somewhere in the stars. Peace out.